you know, it doesn't matter if I'm watching a competition rock crawl or I'm just on a trail ride or even an organized event like Easter Jeep Safari. It always impresses me how important a good spotter can be. Now and then we all gladly accept a little wise counsel and with the help of a good spotter, even the less experienced driver, you know, the one that's willing to listen, will be able to drive obstacles that would normally seem all but impossible. Now, of course, there's always a driver component involved, but if the driver's willing to listen and follow the spotter's instructions, the odds of conquering that obstacle and doing it with no body damage is greatly improved. The question becomes, what makes a spotter a great spotter? Now, oddly enough, I just happened to have put together a few of my most liked and disliked characteristics that that helpful individual guiding our passage could possibly have. Let's start with some things that make me crazy. Number one, the control freak. This special individual's entire reason for being is to demonstrate their self-perceived off-road skills and wisdom. What are you doing? What? No. I, I just can't see over the hood. I just kind of wanted to see where I was going. I can, I can probably save this, but you're going to have to pay attention and listen to what I say. What? I'm going to need you to shift your transmission into the neutral position. Once you've done that, I want you to take the selector that says four-wheel drive on it, click it back to the 4L position. That's four low. Once you're in four low, you can place your transmission back into drive. Are you getting all this? What? Okay, once you've got it in drive, we're gonna have you move forward a little. Do not engage your lockers until I tell you to. There's about, you can drive for two feet before we need to turn the lockers on. When you do turn the lockers on, do it exactly when I tell you to. Are you listening to me? I, I just can't see over the hood. I just kinda wanted to see where I was going. Back. I wondered if I could just go over there. If you do go over there, I am not responsible. I will not be held responsible for any damage you do to your vehicle, any breakage that happens to it, or the fact that you can't drive up it because you're going to be doing it on your own. If you don't want to listen to your spotter, then you just go drive it on your own. And good luck. What? In the control freak's fertile mind, it's imperative that they direct each and every move that the driver must make to safely traverse the obstacle at hand, regardless of the driver's objections. It's like Frank Sinatra's song, My Way. That's his anthem and he lives by it. I am all you need to see. You watch me, you watch my movements. I will tell you where to drive and how to drive and you will successfully conquer this obstacle. Without me, you're on your own. There's only one way to do it right, and that's to obey and drive that obstacle exactly as he dictates. Gee, thanks, that was fun. Next up, no, the overreactor. No. It's always fun to watch this guy. Oh, oh, dude, what are I you don't even doing? Know. Oh, oh, oh. We've all seen it. A Jeep is precariously perched. What am I supposed to do? Ripping terror has the driver locked in fear. Getting tippy. The driver needs some reassurance. I don't know what you're saying. There's nothing that'll instill a sense of calm and confidence like a spotter screaming and wildly gesticulating. Stop! Stop! You're gonna roll it, Dom! You're gonna roll it any no, second! No, no! Okay, okay, okay! You gotta stop turning left right now! Um. Back up if you need to, but come forward. Come forward. Whoa, whoa. Turn me. If you don't roll this, it's gonna be a miracle. Oh my gosh. This isn't some word salad political press conference. Drivers need clear, understandable instructions. I don't know what that means. Oh my gosh. You this need to stop crazy. freaking out. You should never stop come freaking on this out. Trail. I got you. You just need to hold it together. And the frantic overreactions of this unstable sentinel creates unnecessary stress, confusion, and fear. And as a result, this spotter can also be dangerous. 
due to the unclear and misinterpreted directions that he may give out. We're all up for a little adrenaline rush, but geez, let's just stay calm. The damage apathetic. Uh huh. That takes us to the spotter that probably should be a little more worried about things than he is. This guy's actually got me a few times. Here's a helpful tip. Always be aware of what your spotter drives. If his rig is, shall we say, uh, well used with no straight panels on it, his concept of what constitutes an acceptable damage may not be aligned with yours and your brand new Jeep. Well, I got, I've got a couple of places where I've got some Bitcoin set up, but yeah, the one... Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Just come on. I've got some Bitcoin hey, that is starting to boom. Is there any way I could just move over a little bit? Do I have to drag it up against the rock right here? Be yeah, serious. you're fine. Bring right it up. Here. Bring it up. Be serious. These guys, you all get all stressed out. $1,500 to get a colored man. You're fine. Really like it. You're gonna have to bump it a little bit. It's gonna lean you into the wall. Oh, Whatever. Move it over It'll to be fine. Can I do that? So anyway, yeah, it looks like uh, it's, it's gonna make me some serious money. So I'm kind of stoked on it, dude. Are we gonna do this? Or are we gonna sit there and dilly dally around? I don't even know why you guys bring these jeeps on the trail. He doesn't care how it looks or about damage. So why should you? Hey, I gotta call you back. This guy's a moron. This man's mantra is, sometimes you gotta pay to play. And I mean, real men bought Jeeps to use them, so don't sweat the small stuff. If you're so worried about scratching it, why do you even buy a Jeep? Good heaven. The misdirector. That brings us to a caring but sadly unskilled spotter. Dazed and confused is a good description of this oblivious but oh so very helpful enthusiast. Overconfidence in their spotting abilities leads them to unintentionally guide their trusted followers. I, I think you're good. I think it'll be okay. Into unnecessary body damage, failed attempts at an obstacle, worse. Bless their hearts. They do mean well. You're pretty sure it's okay? I think this looks okay. Are you sure this is the right line? I thought this was the line. This looked like a good line. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, uh, now come over there. Not so sure about this. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think it's okay. The all-knowing spectator. <sighs> This one hits close to home because at some point, every one of us has been this guy. Of course, it was to help protect the driver from one of the you know, above mentioned spotters. We've all been there. You're watching your trusted spotter as you're being guided over an, a, a steep climb or an obstacle of some kind. The first attempt wasn't successful and you're being redirected to a different line. That's when you cue the, what you ought to do guy in the crowd. Oddly enough, that guy probably can't even see the whole trail, but he's willing to help. With tremendous conviction and powerful vocals, these helpful, all-seeing spectators drown out the efforts of your spotter. Oh, you gotta ease into it. Just the only way you're gonna get it, let it bring it up. It'll start clawing. It it'll eat that. It'll come bump right on and let it go. You gotta bump listen. It and bring it up. You gotta listen. Okay, bring it. Bring it. Just bring it up. Come it over. Don't get in the way. And just let it crawl on through. What's really interesting is that the floodgates have now been opened. Many and diverse opinions start to pour out of the crowd. And they all have great suggestions that need to be heard. Come on, any way you're gonna get that is really hard left to do it, let it bring it up. The incoherent shouting sounds like a Trump Biden debate, and the results are similar. I can't you know. Well, you guys are yelling at once. I can't. I can't tell who's talking to it. Bump it up. 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 Bump it up.
uh, way more like our next monument to self-sacrifice. The Pro. This guy knows how to read an obstacle and directs with quiet confidence using pre-directed and clear and concise verbal directions. Boy, this looks like uh, quite a little obstacle here. Hi. Before you go on this obstacle, I just wanted to ask you if you felt comfortable doing it on your own or if you'd like a spot. I mean, yeah, that, that Either way, fun. it's not a problem. I'm happy yeah, to wouldn't... spot you, but it's kind of fun to that. drive them on your own and just kind of learn. That, boys and girls, is a true pro. He asked me whether I wanted to drive this obstacle on my own just to gain the experience. At the same time, he reassured me that he would be willing to stop me if I was going to do anything really stupid that would cause me to die. That's comforting. The pro wants the driver to experience the amazing rush that comes with successfully driving an obstacle unaided. You're looking awesome. You got it. You totally got it. If you need me for anything, let me know. Otherwise, just look at the hill, pick yourself a nice little ramp and come on up it. Just pick your line and go for it. Yeah, it's, it's much easier to just stare at a spotter and blindly turn the wheel. But the rewards and experience that we can gain by learning to read an obstacle and drive it are nothing short of liberating. Stay on it. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Does that feel comfortable to you? Looks good from here, so do whatever you want to do. You're looking good. Does that mean you should attempt every obstacle on your own and ignore the spotter? Absolutely not. There's nothing wrong and a lot right with asking for a spot. I do. But then I do have a powerful survival instinct coupled with a burning desire to avoid body damage. A willing to listen driver and a pro spotter working as a team is an unbeatable combination. We should always give our drivers a, a thumbs up for their willingness to help. I'm Dennis at Terraflex saying be careful out there. Wood out. Thank you.